Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. Hello and welcome to a show you've seen before uh, this week and now it's this week in Barons Baseball, 3B Barons, and I'm with the father of the owner of the 3B Barons, Eric Francis. Angelo, always great to see you my man and um, you know we're excited for a, a great summer league of college baseball. Well, you know, I am totally excited about this as it is a great opportunity. Uh, Eric, the father, and, and you know, it's funny because there's Angelo and Angelo, right, Eric right. and Eric. Exactly, exactly. He's going to be doing the play-by-play. -play. I'm going to be alongside Eric in the booth, and we will be sharing with you what is really an exciting opportunity for Lawrence County and all of Lawrence oh, absolutely. County. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, just to bring the baseball, uh, you know, because other, you know, other leagues, there's this league has been around. So, you know, to join and to bring Newcastle in the mix of it, along with the county uh, ball players, is it's a great opportunity for everybody, especially the community. And uh, and I, I mean, I'm excited. I think we're gonna have a successful uh, season. And uh, I think that when the people come out and watch some games. Of course, we have some home games of Flaherty. Uh, it's it's going to be an exciting time for the for the area. Now, this is their inaugural season, and uh, one of the things we want to do is ease into introducing you to a few of the players. Uh, the first one up, we're going to talk with Ryan Peretti, and um, hear a little bit about who Ryan is and. One of the persons you'll see out in the field. Hello and welcome to This Week in Baseball. Today I'm with Ryan Peretti. And uh, it's the 3B Barons playing. And they're going to play in a few games at Flaherty and then uh, we're going to get the field kind of remodeled. Why don't you tell us, Ryan, what position do you play? Uh, outfield. And uh, all the all the players here go to college. You're at Mercyhurst. Mercyhurst. And uh, you play up there. Sorry, up in the area, yep. And um, just a little, how does it feel to be back home and have a great opportunity like this? It's great. Eric Francis reached out to me, told me he was getting a little group together, a bunch of local guys. So it's going to be fun playing with a couple guys I played with in high school. So it's going to be fun to watch. Stop out and see Ryan and the rest of the Barons right here at Flaherty Field. Absolutely. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle. 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. It's the sauce. It's the cheese. It's the ingredients. It's the crunch. It's Chubby's Pizza. Let's pizza again. <laughs> like we did way back when. They use Augustine's ingredients. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island. Welcome back. And, uh, you know, this, uh, we keep talking about kids from all over the county. And uh, that's an important thing as we reach out and uh, try and, Talk about the positive things going on. Now, um, Frank DeLuca. Oh, you know, and the Shannon grad, uh, he's playing ball at Chatham. I mean, you know, he's a, you know, a center fielder. He can play right or left field. 
uh, another another you know a great kid uh, you know nice family and you know there again you know the opportunity for family and friends to come out and enjoy you know more Whitfield baseball players you know Lawrence County baseball players I don't know answer about you I'm fired up I'm excited and uh, you know I and, and I know Frank and, and is gonna you know do a really good job uh, for the Barons I mean it's, that's a great pickup uh, for going in the the inaugural year, actually they all are, but you know Frank's a heck of a ball player. Let's take a look and hear from Frank. Hey, and uh, here's a, a blast from the past. Frank DeLuca, he played with North County, and talk a little bit about the opportunity with the Barons. But first, let's uh, what position you play? Um, I play the outfield, primarily center, but I played uh, a lot of corner outfield this year at school. And where'd you go to school? Uh, I go to Chatham University up in Pittsburgh. It's about five minutes from Pitt's main campus. Well, halfway between Duquesne and Pitt. Yeah, yes, there sir. you go. And uh, talk about the opportunity. First of all, what year are you in at school? Okay, so I'm going into my junior year up there. I still got three years of eligibility. Um, so yeah, just a junior, but I'll probably use at least two more of them. Talk about the opportunity here, playing for the Barons right in Newcastle. So Coach E reached out to me, and the North County League, uh, unfortunately, is done. But I got the opportunity to come out here and play in a really competitive league with a bunch of guys that I grew up playing with, playing against, and it uh, should be fun. This is a great opportunity. Make sure you come out and watch the Barons. Now, uh... You know, it, it's great to be remembered from those North County baseball broadcasts that we had here. Sure, sure. And, uh, you know, to show you the strength up the middle, very important in baseball. And uh, a little bit about Caitlin Bender. Oh, there you go. Another local guy, uh, District 10, I, I believe, is a, a Wilmington High School graduate, uh, plays a slippery rock. Now there's a guy, you know, second baseman, can play shortstop, uh, very good, good infielder, and uh, another local guy. You know what I mean? You know, so you're bringing in all all these players that uh, you know played in the Whitfield, played in District 10, played in uh, the western part of Pennsylvania, coming back home for the inaugural year of the 3B Barons. And you know, Angela, I'm excited, I'm fired up, and there's another great pickup with Caitlin Bender at uh, Slippery Rock, place for Slippery Rock University. Let's hear from Caitlin. And here we are with Caitlin Bender, and uh, welcome to Barons Baseball. This is the 3B Barons, and uh, can you tell us uh, where you go to school, first of all? Uh, I attend Slippery Rock University up at Slippery Rock. We got a nice facility up there, so that's really what brought me to Slippery Rock. And um, what position do you play? Middle infield, I can rotate. Shortstop or second, I, a variety. Sometimes I'll go to the outfield. But. So a lot up the middle. Yes, sir. Now, uh, playing for the Barons inside Lawrence County, and you're from the northern part, Wilmington. Tell us a little bit about the opportunity that's here. You know, I was just excited. Eric reached, reached out to me, and he uh, told me that a bunch of local guys were playing together, and so I thought it was going to be a good opportunity to play with some some of the former teammates I had back when I was 12 and 10 and really thought it was a good opportunity just to play with those guys again and get some good summer league baseball in. That's great. And we look forward to seeing you. And towards the end of the season, you're going to be a little closer to home as in July we make the turn and you'll be playing out of Westminster. Yep, yes, Would... sir. That's real close to right, <laughs> right, right, right near the high school. That's, uh, that's my bread and butter. Right down the street. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We wish you the best this season. And NCTV 45 will be along to make sure that everybody sees pitch by pitch with Barons Baseball. And, uh, well, what a great thing to hear from Caitlin. You know, one of the positive aspects of 3B Barons Baseball that uh, it really shows all these kids are in college. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's a showcase of, of the, the, especially the local talent, which is the draw. I mean, you know, if you had a nephew or whatever playing, you know, it's going to entice you to come out and enjoy 
watching them play. But you, you the league is made up of – you have to be an active uh, in college playing baseball on that team to, to, to be on uh, three beat Barons. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a – I'm excited, Angela. I can't say it enough that uh, this, this first year, the inaugural year, I, you know, I think it's going to be a successful one. And uh, I'm fired up, man. I'm fired up. Local uh, talent, uh, you know, the Newcastle community, Flaherty Field. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that in my, in my book, Ange. You know, and showing the positive athletic and educational prowess of our county. Now, we're going to take this break, and when we come back, a special gift. I bet you can't wait to see uh, this. You know, I'm fired up for everything. Hi, pizza friends. You can still find delicious Augustine's Pizza at your local supermarket. The folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. Well, welcome back, and now it's time for that special gift, the gift of um, baseball, and I'm going to let the father of the owner introduce the gift. Well, you know, that coming up would be my son, the coach and owner of uh, 3B Bears, and of course, you're going to do a segment with him every week, and it's uh, the tip of the week, you know, so when they watch the broadcast or watch your video, you know, just giving out some little tips to the, the young uh, ball players in the area or people watching on just things to do, just the little things that, you know, are necessary that sometimes people, you know, over over judge or, or, or overreact to it or underreact to it. But uh, my son Eric, I mean, he was a great baseball career, uh, you know, and, and finished at uh, Cal, uh, at uh, Univer University of Cal. And, uh, you know, listen, I'm proud of him. You know, nothing. Eric had to work hard for everything. There was no handouts with him. He put the time in, and he's very focused, uh, and uh, we're all proud of him. You know, his mother is, I am, his, uh, step, his stepfather, Roger Dakar, but we're all fired up. And uh, so uh, let's uh, take, a, take a listen to this tip of the week. Hello, I'm with Coach Eric Francis, and he's going to give us the tip of the week for 3B Baseball. Now, let me tell you, first of all, it's located in Westgate Plaza, so uh, make sure you take a look. Eric, give us our tip of the week. All right, today, Baron, tip of the week is keep your eye on the seams. If you aim small, you'll miss small. So when that ball's coming in, try to pick a spot out on that ball and make sure you watch it all the way to connection. That's this week's tip of the week. Thanks, Eric. We appreciate it. Well, we are back, and you know, uh, in this first inaugural this weekend, 3B Barons Baseball, it's time to uh, bring it to a close in. Eric? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have to bring it to a close this segment, you know, and people got to remember this is a you know, big investment, my son, and um, so, you know, it's something that he's, it was dear to his heart, but it takes a lot of help from a lot of different people. And I personally like to shout out uh, the Newcastle School Board, the city of Newcastle, you know, Pat Amabel, uh, President Gary Schooley, uh, Robert Lowes, Anna Pascarella, they're on the sports committee. Thought they did a really good job with uh, business um, administrator, Joe Ambrosini, to, you know, uh, do what's best for the community. Of course, you know, a lot of work should be uh, being done at Flaherty, uh, and uh, we're all excited for that. They really, really dug in deep to try to uh, help Eric uh, bring this project forward uh, for the community. And I'd like to, you know, you know, so, you know, like Pat Amabel. I mean, he led the charge, and Barbara Laus, and of course Mark Pinella, Anna Pascarella, and the rest of the school board. So it took a lot. And you know, there's always that hidden person in the background. 
and Superintendent uh, Debbie DeBlasio, you know, when it comes to the kids or the community, you know, I know she's retired and, and she she wanted to finish strong where bringing baseball back to uh, this community. And so I tip my hat to the school board and the administration and, and everybody that was involved with the program, Brian Heichel, the city, and of course yourself and, and, and everybody, Mark Alisco, who, you know, I think, you know, in my opinion, people forget all the work that he's done at Flaherty out of his own pocket. And, you know, in my opinion, someday you might have to name that part, Flaherty Field, <laughs> Mark Alisco Park. That's just my opinion. But, uh, you know, we're all excited. I, I can't wait. I know you can't wait. And we hope for a nice turnout when, when they come home from their away games and we play a few games at Flaherty Field. It's going to be a real exciting time. Uh, this summer for the uh, city and, and the county of uh, Lawrence County and the city of Newcastle. So be watching uh, all your different media sources for 3B Baron Baseball and uh, enjoy, get out to the game, and watch every week. Yeah, for... and, and real quick, you know, this uh, Wednesday there's an exhibition game. It's in Ohio, a little bit of a drive, hour and a half away. Then we come back. Uh, Friday night, June 3rd, uh, at uh, uh, Pul Bul Pullman Park in Butler, where the, where the 3B Barons will take on the Butler Blue Sox. It'll be a great game, and uh, we're going to have some ticket giveaways uh, for, for some people. And I'm fired up, Angela, and I appreciate you uh, having me on today. I, I really look forward to all that's going on, and especially 3B Baron baseball. So thanks for watching. Keep watching. And uh, remember, anytime on your time, it's NCTV 45. Have a great day. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com.